thing that we did before. You obviously know that we need to factor this. We look at this like a trinomial, as I did over here. And we can factor this down to 2 cosine of x over 2 um, minus 1 squared equals 0. And therefore, then we could solve and get cosine of x divided by 2 equals 1 half. All the work is over here, exactly the same. So when you see those letter numbers in front, don't let that confuse you. Everything's going to be exactly the same, right? Then we got to find our solutions, which we said x equals uh, pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. But we're not actually solving for x in this example. We're solving for x divided by 2, right? So to undo dividing by 2, we need to multiply by 2. So you multiply by 2 on both sides. When you're doing that, you get x equals 2 pi over 3 and 10 pi over 3. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, our solutions has to be between 0 and 2 pi. Is 2 pi over 3 within that constraint? Is 10 pi over 3 within that constraint? No, because 6 pi over 3 is 2 pi, right? So that's too big. So 2 pi over 3 is your only answer. Now. Go and grab one in the back.